morning. It is 5.45, Wednesday, August 13th, and uh, it's time to go hiking. We are going to head out here and go pick up Adam, maybe stop for some coffee and donuts, and then we are headed north to the Porcupine Mountain Wilderness area up in the beautiful Upper Peninsula, Michigan. So, uh, on noggin, here we come. After picking up Adam, we made a quick stop for coffee and donuts and headed north to the Mackinac Bridge. While crossing the bridge, we caught our first glimpse of the Upper Peninsula. After crossing the Straits of Mackinac, we had a couple hours to my hometown of Marquette, Michigan, where we stopped for a pasty and to have lunch with my father. After leaving Marquette, we still had a couple of hours driving west through the beautiful Upper Peninsula before we reached the Porcupine Mountain Wilderness State Park. All right, it is about 4.40 on Thursday. We just got checked into the campsite and we are going to cross load a bunch of packs into my car and then go stage a car at the Lake of the Clouds Overlook parking site so we can uh, grab some beers because it's only about a mile away from where we're camping tomorrow night so that we won't have to carry some food and some beer. We'll just run a mile in and out to the car. And that way, if there's any sort of emergencies, we have a quick exit plan. So we'll do that and then double back to the trailhead near Summit Peak, something like that. And then hopefully we'll actually get on the trail. Once the logistics were taken care of, we all finally met up and headed out for the trailhead. Unfortunately, we were so excited to see each other after being in quarantine for so long, we headed out without any B-roll. We made our way up some stairs. So many stairs to our first overlook. All right, the top of the first climb, then some stairs, first outlook. This is pretty neat. Don't die on the stairs on the way down. Coming down the stairs from the overlook, we immediately ran into some mud. After a quick three or so mile hike, we made it to our first campsite and got all set up for the night. Oh yeah, but my kids have me for a dad. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, well, what kind of tent is that? It's the um, Dan versus... Um, X-Mid 2. Yeah. Adam, you've got what? Quarter dome one? I have no clue. No, passage one. The passage one? Yeah. And Evo, what's yours? Uh, rainbow? Uh, tarp tent. Bowfin? Bowfin? Yeah, yeah that sounds right. Too. I always get that in the. It, it has more of a. Um, we have the passage two, right? Passage two, like the two person passage? No, I have the, the half dome two plus. Ew. It's a little chonkier. And rounder as opposed to like um, yours is like a big semicircle. Good morning. It is day two. It's about six twenty. I'm up a little bit early. Um, didn't do much filming yesterday because I didn't remember to ask everybody if they were okay being on film. Um, so I waited until we got to camp. Um, I hopefully have a couple of pictures and clips we did about 2.6 miles in after we staged the cars and got to the trailhead and took an initial picture um started with like a pretty moderate climb up to some lookouts um we stopped at the first one we didn't go up the tower of the second one because there was just too many people um trails were okay they were a little slick and it was kind of some clayey mud and I definitely 
was the only one to eat shit coming down. That's fine. Nothing hurt, just got a little muddy. Um, hiked in about 2.4, 2.62 South Mirror Lake. And we ended up at campsite four, which unfortunately is not on the water. Um, you have to go kind of up this little ridge embankment and we're above the other campsites. Um, so the view is kind of trash, but it is nice and secluded. We were, had privacy. Um, site's a little small considering we have three two-person tents and a one-person tent. And I uh, definitely pitched my tent on a little bit of an angle and had my head on the downward angle. So slowly crept towards the wall of the tent all night. Um, got a pretty decent night's sleep. We stayed up maybe a little too late chatting, uh, but we had fun. And then uh, we have about 12 miles to do today to Lake of the Clouds. Um, I don't remember the exact way we're going. We're going around government peak, I think. Um, so hopefully we will get up, get some coffee and some breakfast. And then we'll probably hang out for a while because it's 12 miles. So it should take us like, depending on stops between four and seven hours. And uh, I don't even think we can get into our site until after two, because we don't have to leave our site until one. Um, so we'll probably take it pretty easy today and uh, just have a little bit of fun. Hopefully I'll do a little more filming today, but we'll see. Might be just having too much fun. All right, I will uh, check in later. All right, day two, we are just finishing up breaking camp. Mom and Eva set out already to get a little bit of a head start. We're doing about 12 and change today. We're gonna go north on the North Mirror Lake Trail and go around the north side of the lake. And then we're gonna hit Government Peak Trail and we're gonna take that for most of the day. We are hopefully gonna see Trap Falls and Cuyahoga Peak and Cloud Peak. And then we will be ending at Lake of the Clouds. I think we're at campsite four tonight. Uh, there is a one mile loop extender to some overlook of Superior, I think, but I don't think anybody's planning on doing that right now. So we are just gonna finish packing up and head out. 9.05 and we are officially back on the trail, headed to Government Peak. A little late getting moving this morning, but we're only going about 12 miles, so. Not that big of a deal. Just went over a boardwalk with a nice view of uh, Mirror Lake and uh, get started. Time to get moving and warm the legs up. Especially because the uh, forecast is rain today, but <clears throat> the forecast was changing an awful lot before we lost signal. So we don't know how much or when it's gonna hit. So we're just gonna get moving and hopefully get a good chunk done before it does hit. So we just came from up this way, we went up a ridge, walked along the top of it, and then back down. Not much in the way of views up there, so I didn't do much filming or take many pictures, but we are about a mile-ish in, maybe a little bit more. Uh, 11 to go. Hopefully we will uh, get through these muddy rocky, rooty parts and get something. Looks like it might be opening up up there. More bird walks. Looks like we're coming to a little break in the trees. Swamp action. Low lying wetlands. It's pretty cool. See if we can. Ooh, wet spot. See if we can do this without busting our asses. Yo. Oh, good. Muddy and wobbly. Yeah, the 
Swamp has kind of reclaimed it. That board is a trap. It's a trap. Oh good, a teeter-totter board. Roll it first. There you go. I'm really got, glad I got that little scream on video. Well, I wouldn't have put it in if you had fallen. Instead of stopping at that nice little creek, we decided to push up towards Government Peak. Apparently to get to the peak, you have to uh, do some climbs. That's not fair. We didn't even get a lookout yet. I wanted like a water slide to get to the peak. Huh. You wanna go off a water slide? Down. I mean, with the way there's been runoff and mud on this trail, it, it, if it rains, it probably is a water slide. Yeah. Anyway, hopefully we're in the ballpark of Government Peak. Officially made it to Government Peak. It was right around the corner from where we stopped top the climb. We're gonna take a little, man, so balding. We're gonna stop and take a cliff bar break, drink some water. We are at about 3.36 miles. So we are about just over a quarter of the way done for the day. Probably go another three miles, hopefully to trap falls and break for lunch. We'll see how it goes. During our break on Government Peak, we also made a new friend. Oh, there he goes. Animal friend. Animal friend. This is like the third book. Yeah, but this is the first one that cut on camera. Yeah. So we have one factual animal friend and two hypothetical animal friends. Not making this up. Look at him. He's flexing. Look at you, you majestic bastard. <laughs> Just before 11, heading back down from Government Peak. Setting out for Trap Falls, where we'll probably stop for lunch. Another nice little pond lake view. We've uh, seen a lot of rocks and mud and mosquitoes in the last stretch here since we came down from Government Peak, and uh, it was making me rather frustrated and cranky. <laughs> shit like that. So I decided to get out front a little bit and rage hike and try and burn some stress off. Eventually we'll find a nice spot to wait for everybody else. Found about five miles here. In addition to the mud and the bugs and the water, there has been a lot of these blowdowns. Like we are seeing them constantly, probably in the vicinity of 40 already today. And my GPS just buzzed for five miles pretty obnoxious especially because a lot of them are like bend downs you can't really climb over them you just gotta duck your pack under them or try and push back around the trail starting to get real annoyed with them the trails relatively easy to follow it's blazed okay but just the mud and the blowdowns and the rocks it's like real slick and obnoxious and the elevation gain and loss isn't too bad thus far. It's just, you feel like you never have perfectly solid footing. It's a little bit annoying. Also, this is pretty and all, but it's pretty much been the exact same. This, a couple of boggy ponds. <laughs> Sorry, I swatted a mosquito with the phone. Boggy ponds and a couple of rivers. That's about it. No real vistas yet. So hopefully we'll get some more 
about a mile or so, I think, from Trap Falls. Maybe we'll get something there. Okay, so we are about five and a half miles in, and I hit this intersection, and I am not 100% which way we're going. I'm pretty sure we're turning to the right here, but I am going to wait for the rest of the crew just to make sure nobody takes the wrong turn and that we're all heading the same way. Okay, looking at this again, I think that we are here. That's probably why that rivet's there. And we are headed here. So this is Union Spring. This is Union Spring. So I guess we're going left after all. So it's a good thing that I stopped. Picking our way down to the river here, what we think might be trap falls. I don't think this is the falls yet. Is it? I don't know, there's no signage. Let me check my REI map. It's pretty cool though. It turned out not to be trap falls, but we would find the falls just around the corner. Yep. Just before one, leaving Trap Falls after a good 45 minute hour lunch. Some tuna packets and bars. Heading back out for first peak. I don't remember which one it is, but it'll be there whether I know its name or not. I think we have about two-ish miles until we get there, something like that. Probably not even a mile since we left lunch, but the trail's been following the river mostly and uh the trail's been pretty decent a little bit of mud but it feels like it's been less than we had this morning so i don't know if the water is just running down into the river or what but it seems to be a little drier which is nice and water's moving so a little less in the way of mosquitoes maybe it's just a rest and we're all in better moods i don't know but keep heading on to the get up to these peaks came over this little hill here and uh government peak campsite too looks pretty nice lots of room for tents pretty clean access to water nice white noise pretty cool Ooh, that step wasn't stable Very cool. Peaceful. And back into the muddy forest we go. All right, just over eight miles in. We are about to take a hard left and we've got about a half mile of climb up to Cuyahoga Peak. And then I think we're mostly ridge walking to the next peak whose name escapes me. I'll put it up on screen. And then I think it's just pretty tame and down into Lake of the Clouds. So four and change left, get through this climb and we'll just get after it. All right, first Lake of the Climb done. Elevation wasn't terrible, but apparently we're walking in a intermittent stream path. And so there's a lot of little river rocks here, which I'd probably do without, but well, I've just got to run somewhere, I suppose. Onward and upward. All right, so made it up the first chunk of that climb and uh, I underestimated it. Pack's been riding really well, but whew, that was a uh, sustained incline. Probably not the steepest we've been up, but just keeps going. We've got a little bit of flatland here and then round two so that should be fun let's keep moving looks like we might have hit a flat chunk with maybe a lookout 
Let's take a see. I'd rather take a look and see. It's pretty cool. All right, just past that little lookout. And I was gonna stop and wait for everybody, but there was a big group that came from the peak side and it looked like they wanted to stop and do some pictures and I had already taken some of mine. I didn't wanna ruin their fun. So I guess I'm gonna keep going and I'll wait for the rest of the crew at the actual peak as opposed to just the lookout. So nice and flat, nice and cool, shady, so. Hopefully that last push isn't too bad. It doesn't look too bad, but those might be famous last words. So I guess we'll see when we get there. I don't know if this is coming through on camera, but what the shit is that? Well, I don't know if you can hear me over the wind, but I got up that section and there's a cool overlook. There's this cool river or stream down there. Pretty awesome. Again, a little windy, but I think that might be our first look at Lake of the Clouds. I'm getting excited. Just over nine miles in, three quarters of the way to camp. Let's get to this peak. And these views do not stop. Look at that, that's amazing. Wow. That is so cool. And you can watch the feed source. That's absolutely incredible. A little windy still. Up out here on Escarpment Trail. Uh, views are not too shabby. Uh, not the nicest spot I've seen, but every time I tried to stop before, there was a group taking photos. And uh, there's no official like peak sign. The Gaia app says I'm past it. So I figured here's as good spot as any to wait for everybody else. So I'm gonna have a cliff bar and some water and maybe some trail butter and just relax. I think we have about three miles, maybe three and a half into camp and it looks like it should be all downhill from here. So it should be nice. All right, we all joined back up, took a little break at that overlook and now we're heading to the next peak, whose name I conveniently did not look up. Yeah, we just did Cuyahoga. Oh, that's where the campsite is. I don't... Mm -hmm. I don't think we found it yet. I think you're wrong. We'll find out. There's two peaks. We're one of them is out. Cuyahoga. What's the other one? Nope. So I have later. questions. We're going to find out later, and then you can do a dub over on which one. I'll put, it, I'll put it on the screen. Uh, but anyways, we're trying to hit this second peak and then bleed elevation down to the lake and hopefully get our feet in okay we did stop and look it up we passed Cuyahoga Peak that's escarpment campsite one it is between Cuyahoga Peak and Cloud Peak Cloud Peak is what we're looking for so now we know home stretch here last mile or so to camp we think we uh, are slowly bleeding elevation it's been sort of um, up until this last stretch it's like 300 feet decline 75 feet up 200 feet decline 50 feet up so it hasn't been as smooth and rewarding as we had sort of hoped but it's been Mostly in this dappled shade, there's been this really nice wind breeze going through the whole thing. And every once in a while, when we have to go up, we'll pop out on an outlook again, which is nice. We can sort of chart our distance across the lake. Uh, hopefully we will, uh, oof, incline. Hopefully we will finish with these and be uh, coming through the parking area here pretty shortly. Home stretch here, last half mile. Crossing over this 
river, and then we're gonna curl around to the campsites. Nice little view to end on. Very nice. It's taking us a little longer to get into camp than we initially thought, but teeny tiny frog friend bonus round. Careful, buddy. Come on, hop off. There's some. Yeah. You can get at least one there. Adams will fit somewhere. If I can squeeze there and you can squeeze there, Adams should be able to fit right there or, or right here. But look at that fucking view and water access to filter. Holy shit. And about an hour and a half ago, we were up there. Now, we're right there. And we have all of this to ourselves. It's pretty awesome. Good morning. It is seven o'clock on Saturday morning, day three. Just woke up, quickly uh, broke down all my sleep system, got it packed up, and now I'm gonna try and play. Try and get everything down from the bear pole. This bear pole hook is extremely long and incredibly heavy. And there's only two hooks at the top and we have five very heavy bear bags up there. So that was special getting them up there last night. Huh? This campsite, it was a disaster getting in here in the sense that there was a lot of mud and we thought it was like a quarter mile to camp and it was a lot more like three quarters of a mile and folks were beat and the mud didn't help. But once we got out here, man, we had this entire little point to ourselves with walk out to the water on both sides. It was gorgeous. Pretty much everybody went for two swims and then we just like sat around and ate and then everybody was a little bit tired. So we turned in relatively early, but Beautiful sight, beautiful sight. Uh, we got a little bit of rain overnight. Wind was very loud. It doesn't look like it rained that much and it's still a little misty sprinkly. Nothing worth getting out your rain gear over, but it could make for a soggy morning. So I am going to get these bear bags down and then I'm going to try and use nature's facilities and get some breakfast. Coffee would be good. Alright, about 10 o'clock, just getting ready to break camp, step off, head up to the parking lot of the Overlook, swap out some stuff to the car, and then head along Lake Superior. Looking at about 11-ish, maybe 12-ish today. Alright, we made it out of the campsite areas and we're back to this river crossing. Definitely uh, proved the point that we had the best campsite. Muddy getting in, but bugs were already starting to get worse over there cramped and nobody had the views we had. So now we're gonna hit this uphill and uh, get to the parking lot. Let's do it. Okay. First part of that climb is down. It's kind of hard to see, but it's a really old climb. It's not as steep as yesterday. We went up the Scartman Trail. And it's not as long. So get your blood pumping first thing in the morning. Uh, I'm out front for now because I like to stride out going up hills and what if I stop my fat ass takes forever to get momentum going again so I'll wait up here until a couple more people catch up but hopefully not too much additional climb to the parking area do some car swap outs and I think Mikhail's gonna drive around to Superior and then just hike in the last three miles to camp. So he, uh, he didn't have a great time of it yesterday. So he's gonna listen to his body and go the supported route, which we planned for. That's why we did the car shuffle two days ago. But uh, yeah, we are officially on the move. Hopefully we'll be the uh, superior soon.
Okay, had a couple more stair climbs. Finally got up here to the overlook. There is the river crossing. There is our campsite. Actually, it might've been that one. Probably that one. Uh, about 1.2 miles in and about 400 feet of elevation gain. So not too bad. Uh, gonna find the car and wait for the group. All right, stepping off from the parking lot. Get these headphones off my head. Uh, yeah, leaving the parking lot. We got about a mile and a half-ish road walk. I think uh, Kayla is gonna get a ride from Mikhail to the parking lot where we turn back on the trail. Meet us there, and then Mikhail is gonna drive around to the south end of the Lake Superior Trail and then hike in about five miles to the campsite. So we will meet him there. So, a little descent, little road walk. I think we've done pretty much all the climbing we're doing today, other than a couple of slide up and downs along the way, but pretty much done with that, so that's nice. I'm gonna get off the road before this car hits me. All right, the road walk is over. We stopped at the sign, took some pictures, said goodbye to Mikhail, who's gonna drive around, and we are back on the trail, on Lake Superior Trail. We have about nine miles to camp, give or take, but we're pretty bad at estimating distance, even with the GPS, so we'll see. A couple of our first looks at Superior. All right, we are coming up on five miles. Just went past one of the Lake Superior cabins. Uh, a lot less blowdowns than yesterday morning, but I would say the first mile or two of uh, Lake Superior Trail, the word of the day is rocks and mud. But uh, it seems like things are drying out the last half mile, mile. We've just been walking in this nice dappled shade with a lake breeze, even though we can't really see the lake anymore. But uh, well, it's not muddy, the ground's soft. Make a pretty good progress. So mud, did, did, did we mention mud? Full wet. <laughs> but we did get rid of rocks, apparently, for now. All right, it's about quarter after 20 after 12, and we hit this campsite, so we are gonna stop for lunch. The mileage hasn't been bad, the grade hasn't been bad, but it's literally been rocks or mud almost the entire trip. And it's just like, oh, okay, we're just gonna spend the day walking through rainy season Endor. Sounds good but we're over halfway. It's not too bad. Grab some lunch and uh, knock the second half out. Just behind that campsite, back through the woods, right on the lake. Nice little stone beach. Hopefully this is what our set will be like tonight. All right, it's about quarter till. We stopped for lunch for about 20, 25 minutes. We're back moving along Superior Lake Superior Trail. And it is uh, more rocks and more mud. Probably be this way the rest of the way to camp at this point. Got about four to five more miles left. Weather's good, so that's nice. Bugs were... A little bit worse when we stop, but they haven't been bad this morning at all. So hopefully that'll keep up. Rocks. Lake Superior. Rocks. Lake Superior. And I'm sure shortly here we'll turn back into the woods and be in muddy bogs again. It's been the way of it this morning. So we've been off the lake for a little while and they, uh, snuck some scrambles in for us, went up some relatively sheer hillsides. A little bit more mud, but it hasn't been nearly as it was, nearly as bad as it was down low. We should be within a mile of camp, plus or minus deviation from the GPS track. So that's good. Weather's been great today though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Warm, but not hot. Breeze constant. 
very little bug activity, which has been amazing. And we've probably seen, what, even less than two dozen people? Yeah, right around two dozen. Yeah. Yeah, so a little bit under that. And uh, hopefully we will get to camp and get set up and wait for the rest of the crew. Maybe have some cocktails. <laughs> well, we made it to the Big Carp River and uh, went up a little ways and crossed about halfway between where we eventually saw the bridge. So that was an adventure. Should be in the last push to camp though. Looks like we are home for the evening. Although there's some, oh, it's Mikhail. Good space here for something. Some good spaces back there. Fire. Rock seats. What the? Damn, this place is bougie. Bear pole. Hell yeah, we're gonna be good. Sunday morning about quarter to eight Eastern and we are just breaking camp getting ready to step out I think we have about 10 miles today for the main party Kayla's gonna hike part of that and then get picked up by Mikhail who's gonna hike a different part of that to the car and the intent is to all rally back at the original parking lot by like hopefully no later than two Mikhail talked about bringing us some lunch and then we are we'll hopefully head for home about three so we'll see how it goes had a really good night i guess there was a little bit of a chance of thunderstorms overnight but i don't think we saw any of that and uh campsite worked out great we got here nice and early had some dinner had some drinks had fire just relaxed had a pretty good night's sleep all the way around sounds like uh, now i just had some breakfast and some drinks and getting ready to head out thought maybe Maybe two thirds of a mile in. Just switched over to run with the North Country Trail and see our first falls of the day. We would come to find out that waterfalls and rapids would be plentiful on this hike and be our constant companion along the Little Carp River. I believe this is the Little Carp River and we seem to be trailing one side or the other of it most of the day. So that's pretty cool. Supposedly, according to Gaia, we're gonna be crossing it somewhere between three and 10 times. How many of those will have bridges remains unclear. Hopefully at least one of them, but I think we have some significant wet foot crossings today. But it's the last day out. We all have dry kit in the car and uh, small price to pay for the ambiance of a bubbling stream river right next to you all day plus catching a nice breeze down it it's keeping the bugs in check it's really really beautiful nice way to end this trip so we've reached traders falls trader with a d not a t Okay, it appears we have our first no shit crossing because we need to get over there. So we're going through that. As I am currently by myself, I will not be filming this and hopefully we will be dry on the other side. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I had to put my right foot in the water twice and my left foot in once, but not bad having full shinable leather boots that aren't super absorbent with drains in them and darn tough wool socks. I'm not, I'm not very worried about it. My feet will dry, probably just in time for the next crossing, but uh, water was clean, nothing was too slippery, wasn't running very fast. Nice easy crossing. Keep on uh, trekking and head for the next one, I guess. So it appears, for at least the next 
good chunk that I will be uh, hiking solo, which is fine. First day, I stayed mostly with Mikhail and Kayla and Adam and did a lot of like staying at the back of the line or sprinting out and then stopping every half mile to a, uh, or every half mile to a mile for them to catch up. Some little falls there. Um, and then yesterday I stuck with Eva for the whole day and Eva's a badass. I mean, she's got so much experience. She's done the entire AT and she just has her hiking style dialed in. Um, and we tend to hike similar ways where we just go and then stop for a quick lunch and then we go. Um, and she led the whole time, which was very nice for me because she kind of picked the right ways through the mud and the rocks and I sort of got to follow behind. Um, but on the nice terrain like we've had today where everything is dry and not rocky and not muddy, I'm a little bit taller, so I tend to take longer strides. So going a little bit slower first couple days mixed with all the ascents and descents. My knee was a little barky, so it's been nice to get out this morning and get into my normal stride length, find my rhythm again, but probably stop a while up and let everybody catch up depending on uh, how my knee's feeling. We'll see, maybe I'll stay out alone, not sure. So this isn't any sort of named falls according to the map or the GPS, but it's this really cool whitewater slide almost. Very cool. All right, crossing number two. Uh, let's take a look. Does that look any shallower? Not really. I think I'm gonna go here, get wet going to there, try and skip across in the shallows, over to there, back onto the trail. We'll see how that goes. Okay, made the crossing. First two steps, just like I drew it up. Third step, foot right in the water, immediately ran out of fox and just walked it. It wasn't even up to the top of my boot, so like halfway to my half. Be a little sloshy for a while, but we got more crossings anyway, so what do I care? Dry kit in the car, we we'll keep going. A little bend in the river here and these massive trees are down. The root ball on that thing has got to be 15 feet. I mean, it's almost cartoon beaver drops. It's pretty incredible. And it looks like it just zigs and zags like that for a bit. Really, really cool. There's a lot of these too. Like you skirt in and out of the woods and the river and all the rivers have these amazing views. The trail's a little overgrown right here, but for the most part, it's been pretty solid. Uh, every once in a while you gotta bulldoze through a little bit, but mostly it'll just open up like this. So it's a really nice mix between some beautiful interior forest and then the river and some rapids and little falls and down trees. This has been a really beautiful hike today. Just took a quick break for a little bit of water and to check the map and I think I'm about four-ish miles in. I forgot to record the track when we stepped off this morning, so I don't know for sure, but when I've intermittently been checking the Gaia app, it says I've been running about three miles per hour, and I think I've been going for about an hour and a half. So I figure less time for some ascents, descents, and water crossings, probably about four miles. Uh, the descents haven't been kind to my knee, but it's holding up pretty good. Being able to maintain my full stride has helped a lot. So, sweating like a pig, and uh, when I get to the next falls here, 
probably sit down for a minute and have a cliff bar and uh, a little more water. I think that's about a mile, mile and a half, but we'll see. North Country Marker, Porky's Info Board. Okay, so we are here, which is right by Greenstone Falls. So, and we are headed here or here. I don't remember which, which I should probably figure that out. I think, yeah, Summit Peak Scenic Area Parking. So we will follow this and then about here, which looks like, oh, I don't know, three miles. We'll split off from the North Country and take the little carp to Beaver Creek Trail. And then we will be back at the car. We started, where did we start? Somewhere about here. I think this is our campsite. So this morning I've come down here. Uh, no, ignore me. Where did we go? We came over here. So we must have been up here. Then we came down here to here. So. We're maybe halfway, maybe about halfway. So we have about five miles left. All right, and we should be getting some more falls here pretty soon. Greenstone Falls, 0.4 miles. Mirror Lake, which is where we stayed the first night, 5.3. So. so we've made it to Greenstone Falls. It's pretty cool. Nice little boardwalk here too, so. Pretty cool. I think there was a little area down back that way and down there. I saw some family down there, but it looked off trail and I didn't want to crowd their space, so. We'll just enjoy the view from here and uh, keep going. So since the falls, it's pretty much just been this nice dappled shade forest. Trail's been pretty clean. A couple of mud spots, nothing bad. Uh, mostly marked pretty well. It's just been keeping on. I saw a woodpecker. I didn't get a chance to film it by the time I pulled my camera out. He was gone, but that was cool. Uh, I think we got about a mile and a half until we switch off onto Lily Pond Trail maybe. And then we'll take that to, I think, Beaver Creek Trail, which will head back to the parking lot. So we probably got between three and four, maybe a touch even more, I'm not sure, left. Uh, not too bad, I'm not making as good a time as I had anticipated but ultimately it doesn't matter because we're a group and I'm not leaving the parking area until everybody's back so my guess is Eva is probably not too far behind me and then Julie was with her when I left them and Adam was a little bit behind so depending on how Adam's feet and legs are doing he may or may not catch Julie, and I don't know if Eva decided to hang back and hike with her mom or to just go. She usually just goes, but it's the last day. We're not in a rush, uh, so she might have done that. Oh, good. I found the mud. Nice when the trail just turns into a small river. That's always fun. All right, well, I better put this away and pay attention to what I'm doing. And uh, hopefully we'll get to a junction here before too long. Made it to one of the little creek, little carp river campsites. Looks pretty nice right on the water here. And we are going there. But looks like I can cross right here without getting wet feet. So let's put away the technology and try that. Just made the turn here to little, or I think we're still on little carp trail but we're headed towards Lily Pond, I think is the name of it. And uh, happy surprise, uh, 
at the intersection coming up to it and uh, ran into Uptrail 71. So I'm a big fan of his channel. In fact, I checked out several of his Porky's videos when we were planning this trip. So I will uh, put a link hopefully right there. Might be on the other side, I don't remember, but I will put a link to his channel. Definitely go check him out. He does a great job and uh, he's hiked a lot of stuff up here. So he's this will he had his camera with him, so I'm assuming he's filming this trip. But this will probably be his third or fourth at least video here in the Porkies. So just they him and his wife were as nice as can be, chatted with me for five minutes about trips and parts of the park, and they were great. So go check out his videos if you want a little more diversity of the Porkies and probably a little more detail than I put in. Uh, gonna I think we got maybe two miles till the turn off here. So I'm gonna put my head down and try and make some hay. Peekaboo views there. I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess that is Lily Pond. I will uh, check the map and put it up on screen or I will edit it out if I am wrong. But we'll keep on heading through and maybe we'll get a clean view somewhere. Nice view from up here on the bridge. Just made the turn onto uh, Little Beaver Creek Trail, potentially. I don't know, it's the trail that splits off Little Carp to the parking area. And I saw the sign, I saw the intersection, I didn't see the trail, but thankfully there was a group of about six kids and two uh, guys that I was right behind them and I just had missed it. So they pointed it out to me and now I am in the final stretch. Um, the bugs are starting to pick up a little bit, so I won't be mad to get back to the car, but there's been a lot less up and down the last two or three miles, and uh, I'm feeling pretty good. The knee's holding up well, and legs feel fine in terms of, like, muscles. Shoulders are a little sore because I've been playing with the pack all day. I wish that this chest strap went a little tighter. For my preferred carry or slid up and down like my aether does i like to modify the carry throughout the day and this one does have like toggles you can move up and down but none of them get quite as low as i want and i never want to futz with the toggles while i'm hiking it's more of a overnight task when i get to camp and then i don't think of it so anyways it's carrying fine ate all the foods so there's hardly anything in it and uh we're probably the last, I have no idea the distance, mile, two miles, something there. So we will go ahead and knock this out and get back to the car. So I'm assuming that this is Beaver Creek. Very cool, really nice boardwalk too. Pretty good breeze to keep the bugs off you. Very nice. That might be the last view we get, so that was a good one. I do believe that those are the first flashes of windshield and headlights. So it looks like I've made it. Officially completed the trail for today, which was, I don't know, I think about 10 and a half, but since I did put it in wrong on Gaia, I don't actually know. And I could have checked if I had been recording my track today, but I didn't do that either. Either way, it is over. I think it's about one o'clock. I don't know. The time has been a problem all trip because our phones pinged back and forth between Eastern and Central. So I don't know. Whatever time it is, it's quitting time. And I'm going to go get changed and get my feet up and wait for the rest of the crew. Okay, back to the car, cooling down. I'm gonna throw out some trash, drink some water, and uh, get my boots off. It is one Eastern, noon Central. So hopefully everyone will be here within the next hour, two hours at the outside is when we wanted to leave by. Because if we leave by three Eastern, 
then we'll get back by about midnight, which is what Adam and I were hoping for. I think everybody else has a little bit of a shorter of a drive, thankfully. So hopefully Adam can get here in the next two hours. Um, I think barring any injury, he shouldn't have any problem with that, but hopefully he'll be just steady and healthy and get here when he gets here. And I think Mikhail and Kayla were going to be here in about an hour with lunch. But in my bag of car clothes, I also had Oreos. So I will be good either way. Uh, the only downside is I don't think there's a water source up here. But I got probably a third of a liter left anyways. And we can always stop and get some on the way out. So I'll be fine. Uh, hot wash. Quick thoughts from the trip. It was a lot more challenging than I think I realized, especially Escarpment Trail. We just don't have many climbs like that in the Lower Peninsula, and I'm not used to it. The mileage was totally fine. I probably could have done more miles each day, but I definitely underestimated the climb. Um, we had a couple of small ones today that were pretty legit, but they were short. Like, I mean, less than a half... I don't even know. They were like five hundredths of a mile and they'd shoot up quick and then you get to the top and you'd be done. Versus like Escarpment is a half mile of continuous climb. Um, the descents actually with the rocky footing and the mud, those were what really got me. My knee feels better at the end of today than it did at the end of yesterday, which is great. Ankle held up wonderful. Feet feel good. I don't think I have any blisters. Um, I have a little bit of a weird bruise raw spot where the knot from my ankle brace got drilled in by the knots on my boots and sort of just bashed against my shin, but minor, nothing doesn't bother me unless I like poke at it. I don't notice it while I'm hiking, which is great. Um, the views from up on Escarpment are wonderful. Oh my goodness, I loved it. And the waterfalls today were really cool. I would hike that river again for sure. Our campsites all trip have just been awesome. Like, I can't believe how good they were. Um, but I probably wouldn't do the Lake Superior Trail again unless I knew it had been dry for past week and a half because it was a muddy, wet mess. I probably wouldn't do Mirror Lake and Government Peak because it's a lot of climb for no view and it was just a muddy, buggy mess. Um, but I would do Escarpment again. I would stay at Lake of the Clouds again for sure. And I would do the from Superior to this um, Summit Peak Overlook Park parking area again. That was an enjoyable hike today. Um, that's all I got for right now. Maybe I'll put some final thoughts in um, when I do the edit. Otherwise, um, dismissed. Hey everyone, Sergeant Sparty from the future here. I'm just wrapping up the edit on this. And uh, sorry this video is about six months later than I expected it, but... Uh, Came back from that trip and things went a little crazy between coronavirus and work and uh, getting a new family member. Hey everybody. Up. Hi everybody, this is Scout. He's my new hiking buddy. Okay, off. Good boy. Uh, so that's taken up a bunch of time and uh, I finally got a new computer. So making these videos is a little bit easier than it had been. So um, hopefully you like it. Uh, this trip was a blast. I needed a trip like this so bad at this point in the summer. And uh, it was so nice to see a bunch of my friends uh, do some, you know, decent mileage in a new park. So I don't know what's uh, coming down the pipe for 2021, but hopefully more trips than this year. Uh, there may be one or two more small videos in the pipeline from day hikes and such, but uh, keep an eye on the channel and my Instagram if uh, you're interested in keeping track of that. So uh, that's all for now. Dismissed.